One, two, three, four, five, six. I have a bunch on my legs too. Bro, these mosquitoes. I can I can only handle so much, man. I ended up getting this thing here. You can't you can't really see it, but oh, I can't, dude. So my audience actually recommended this thing. It's from this company called Catchy, or the things called Catchy. But basically, it allows a little light in here, and that light attracts mosquitoes and stuff. I don't know, man, if it's gonna work. But supposedly it sucks them down and it puts them in a little glue trap in the bottom. I don't know, man. But I'm I can't I can't deal with these mosquitoes anymore, man. I, they are in the apartment. It is like an army. Anyways, I'll I'll let you guys know how this thing goes. But I needed something, man. My I, can, I have so many, 13 bites. I have 13 bites. <sighs> Anyways, welcome back. Good to see you guys. I'm here for another video today to show you guys a little something that maybe you guys know about, maybe you don't know about, but I'm here to show you something that's kind of cool. And it's all about kind of like nesting your files inside of OBS and really like setting up your OBS in a way that it's just easier to work with. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about with my own stream. All right, so don't, don't judge me here, but let me show you guys what I'm working with. So if I go ahead and show you guys my display, um, I know you, you're seeing a lot, but it, it just, just take in the bottom. So let me go ahead and just drag this up real quick. So what I'm working with on the left here is a bunch of scenes as well as assets. Now the assets are is what is used in my stream, but they're not actual scenes that I transition to. I only stick with inside the actual scenes that I have here on the left-hand side. So. What I end up doing is I have my main scene here. I have a clean scene. That doesn't help. Uh, hi. Uh, so I have a clean scene. I got a logo. I got a, a full cam and I got my full cam black and white because I do this little zoom thing every now and then where I look at the camera and then it starts to come in and then I start talking to people. It's using that move thing that I made a tutorial about it. Just got to go check it out. So I have all of these different scenes and assets for the scenes in two separate categories. And I'm gonna show you how to do it today because I feel like it's really beneficial. Okay, so I'm not gonna try to keep you here too long, but I wanted to show you this real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up an instance of OBS. And what I wanna do is I wanna create a couple of scenes as well as some asset scenes. So what I normally do is I try to rename this to something like, call this scenes, and then I'll go ahead and create another one, assets. So now I have my two basic scenes here. So now I need my assets. Now, what is an asset? An asset is like something that is inside of your scene, but it's not the scene itself. It's more like an asset for the scene, like your webcam. So let's go ahead and add a webcam real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and call this a uh, camera. I'm gonna hit okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a video capture device and I'll add my camera. That's looking pretty good. I'll leave it full screen. Next, I'm going to go ahead and create another scene. We're going to call this uh, game capture. I'm going to go ahead. OK, and this is where I'm going to have my game capture. So because I don't have a, uh, a game open, I'm just going to use paint here and uh, just I'm going to type in the word game and we're going to add a window capture. I'm going to hit OK for a window capture and we're going to capture it right off the bat the paint. I'm going to hit OK and this is going to be my gameplay. Now I'm going to change the size this a little bit and that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and move on here and we're going to make another scene and we're going to call this alerts. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK for alerts and over here we would add some browser sources. But for this, I'm just going to add some simple text. And uh, the text will just be this is an alert. And I'm going to hit OK. And that's looking pretty good. So that's my alert page. So now that we have a couple of instances here, let's go ahead and build our first scene. So we're going to call this our main scene. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to drag this above all these so I can actually have it in my scenes list. Now inside this thing, I want to incorporate all three of these things. So I have to come over here and add and you add a scene. So I'm going to go ahead and add the camera scene. And then I'm going to add the game capture scene. And then I'm going to add the alerts scene. Now I have all three here and I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to keep the game screen full screen. I'm going to go ahead and take my alerts and we're going to shrink that down a little bit. I can't see it. So that's a that's fun. Uh, so let's go ahead and invert this thing right here. OK, so. So these are the uh, the alerts on the right here, and this is my game scene. And then we got our camera down below, but we're gonna put that on top because you always want your camera usually on top. So I'm gonna take my camera, I'm gonna put it right here. And maybe this is how I like my OBS set up. I know it looks super, super good, but this is my scene. Now, why would you want these in the first? Why do you want asset scenes? Why do you wanna change any of this? Why not just do it the regular way and just add these individually? 
well is because you can actually start to nest items with inside of the asset scenes. So over here in my alerts, I could have alternate scenes in here and I could call this one so I can add more free type and this could be maybe my Halloween alerts. And we're gonna change the color of this to be, uh, I don't know, spooky, spooky orange. Now I have my Halloween alerts here and I'm gonna go ahead and turn that one off. And so now we're there, right? So one thing that you can do is when you're in this main scene, like if you don't want to go through and have a ton of different scenes down here, now if I just go over to my alert scene and select the uh, alerts that are my Halloween themed and then unselect the other one and I go back to my main scene and updates live right there. So now I can have all my alerts within one scene and just specifically put that one scene inside of my, my source list to make my sources look that much more nice. Another instance of what you could potentially use this for, let's go back into the game capture scene and let's add a secondary version of this thing right here. What I wanna do is I wanna add another window capture, but I don't wanna select the same one. I wanna create a new one. So we're gonna say window capture two. This is gonna be the same thing as before, but now we have a second instance of it. And what I wanna do with this is I wanna add a filter. I'm gonna add a color correction filter and we're just gonna call this uh, color correction. I'm gonna change the hue and that's looking pretty good. So. Now I have a second instance of my game capture. I'm gonna put that on top. Now, why would you want this? So let's say you're playing a game, maybe something like Escape from Tarkov. The game's pretty dark, right? So maybe you want the ability to be with inside of your game, but you want your viewers to be able to see more. Something that I do is I go over here to my game scene and I actually take this scene and I just toggle it on and off. So I'm taking a second instance of it and I'm just changing the brightness of it. So now that this is set in here, I can go over to my settings and my hotkeys and I can go find my window capture two. It's right here. I'm going to hit a hotkey that maybe is G and then uh, to hide it, I'm going to hit G again. And I'm going to hit apply. So now if I go back to my main scene that has everything, now let's go ahead and just lock everything up here. Now, if I hit G, now you're going to see that it instantly swaps over to the other item that's inside of my game capture scene or assets. So again, if I'm hitting G, I'm just toggling on and off one simple thing over here without having to add multiple sources in my source list. Now I'm adding asset scenes to be put into my source list. Now it's just, it's just, oh, it's almost like making folders for your scenes rather than putting everything and just barfing and vomiting all your scenes, all your, all your sources into one, you know, scene. So again, if I'm back in uh, my game capture, if I hit G again, you can see it's toggling between the two. And if I really wanted to, I could come over here, maybe do something like this. So if we go back to our main scene here, if I hit G, now you can see that it's toggling that little image on the side there. So maybe I wanted to, maybe this could be something different. Maybe this could be a replay. Maybe this could be anything else, right? But you don't want an extra bunch of stuff in your source list. Maybe when I hit G, it pops up a replay of me just killing a guy after I had set the replay in the, in the OBS and whatnot. But just keep in mind that this could actually help you out a lot. Again, if I go into my settings here and back into hockeys and I scroll down to my text and we're going to type in Y for this one and maybe U for this one and hit apply and okay. So now when I hit Y and U, I'm literally swapping between which alerts are available whenever I want them. So if it's Halloween time, I can quickly toggle on my Halloween or I can toggle back to my normal alerts so that way everything's back to normal. You know what I mean? So another situation this might be useful is maybe you have your camera scene and let me go ahead and add a uh, something else to this to, to get your idea, to get your brain working here. So maybe over here, I actually have an overlay and I'm gonna go ahead and bring this on in here. I'm gonna scale that up like that. So here's my scene. I like it. Now I have a little overlay situation going on and I can uh, toggle on and off that, but that's not what I'm actually here for. I'm just trying to show you that when I go back to my main scene, now you can see when I select my camera, everything moves in association with what's in that scene. So no matter what I'm doing, I'm not creating groups anymore. I'm now, I have the groups nested essentially in another scene. So these stay together and move wherever I choose them to move. Now you could do this another way, but again, you're going to have multiple sources inside of your, your source list. And if you want to be able to utilize this source inside multiple scenes, it's a little less cumbersome than having to have groups of copied and pasted folders and groups in other scenes. Now, I know this may sound like a lot of information all at once, but this makes it a lot easier to navigate my OBS when I know that if I need to get into my alerts, I have a whole 
thing specifically just for my alerts. And I can sit here and toggle between what I'm actually trying to work with because I know my hotkeys. So I utilize this in my own streams because I also apply filters to the scenes themselves. You can see I'm able to move my camera around like so because I have everything nested with inside of scenes as opposed to having a bunch of sources that I have to deal with. So instead of having this main scene that I have here and then going ahead and opening up my my widescreen camera angle here or, or going full screen with this, uh, you can now see that actually if I go ahead and shrink this back down and go specifically to my camera overlay scene. Now we are getting this scene and you can see when I hit my uh, my little other camera here, it kind of pops out. And now I can modify this entire scene right here and I can turn back on my social alerts and all that stuff. And now when I go back into my main scene, my social is right here. You know, the scene, the, everything, everything is changed in this scene because this little camera section right here is essentially a folder with inside of my scene. So it's just kind of staying a little bit more organized and allowing you to do a couple little extra features here and there as long as you know how to use them. So keep in mind that that's a, an option for you guys. I just wanted to do a quick little simple tutorial here that you guys should maybe consider trying out. Uh, I used to always make a new scene, put all my sources in there, make a new scene after that, the duplicates of everything else that's in there that needs to be in there. Another scene has all this stuff. Another scene has all this stuff and it's just duplicating everything when actually now I'm just taking my scenes and they are now assets and I'm just copying the scene into my different actual scenes. You know what I mean? It's just one way to keep everything a little bit more organized as opposed to kind of messy and gross. Now I need to clean mine up because I keep adding more stuff here and there, but I wanted to let you guys know that this is basically what I'm doing to toggle on maybe a brightness filter or something else on the fly rather than having multiple sources all in my source list. Uh, now I have it affecting in a certain thing. So if something's kind of messed up, I don't want to go hunting through all of my different assets in my, my source list. Now I just have to go and find the scene that has the assets that I want in it. So hopefully this helped you out. I'm sure this might be kind of confusing, but this is what I do. And I, I like having folders and nested items and asset scenes and whatnot. Uh, so it just, Hopefully it helped you out. I don't know, man. I just want to I want to give you guys knowledge that I have. And this is something that I've been using and nesting scenes and putting assets into scenes is beneficial for me. Maybe it's not so much for you. Maybe you're happy with just all your sources in your source list in your scene, as opposed to having a scene as a source. Does that make sense? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, and subscribe. It would help me out, man. I'm trying to grow this channel. And uh, if you guys ever want any other tutorials hit me up down below in the comments and anyways i'll see you guys next time thanks for chilling bye